hey, it's Asia Sky from DX Daily, and check this out. An unreleased song by the game warning rappers about chain snatchers in South Los Angeles has recently resurfaced after the death of rapper PNB Rock. In the song, the game is warning rappers against chain snatchers that hang out around Roscoe's House of Chicken and Waffles in California. On the day of PNB Rock's murder, he was at the restaurant and police believe that he was targeted for his jewelry before being shot multiple times. Days after the murder on Wednesday, September 14th, the track Murder, which is a leftover track from the game's 2006 album Doctor's Advocate, began making its rounds online due to the rhymes which eerily mirror PNB Rock's untimely demise. Today have been 10 murders in South Central alone. The boys in the hood said you've been gone too long. So take my advice, I'm talking to all rappers. When you eat at Roscoe's, watch out for the chain snatchers. Take it off slow or you might get killed. Fellow West Coast rap legend Ice-T echoed a similar sentiment on Twitter following PNB Rock's death, urging people to follow the lead of LA rappers like The Game by refraining from flaunting expensive jewelry while in the city. Ice-T said, I'm done explaining LA gang culture. MFs will not listen. It's not a game at all. If you notice, LA rappers don't wear a lot of jewelry. Me, Snoop, Cube, Dre, Game, Kendrick, the list goes on. It's not cause we're broke. LA is just a dangerous place, rapper or not. Why test the streets? Now it seems even PNB Rock himself appeared to be acutely aware of the threats that lie in the city of Angels. Earlier this week, academics released an interview he conducted with PNB just days before his murder, in which he detailed his brushes with danger in LA, including a somewhat recent encounter with a gang member while out shopping with his girlfriend and daughter. Somebody tried me on Fairfax, like, like mid-pandemic. But it was Why like they another so bold, one. Though? I don't know. I guess because niggas be sweet. You feel me? And niggas, they just. You niggas see me with my family, nigga, and they think I'm just out here lacking. You know what I'm saying? So it would be one of those type of situations. So we're like, niggas. Yo, I hear they're just walking up to niggas in like broad daylight, like, yo, give me your chain. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo. No, niggas try me on some. It'd be like, every oh, time. They try to take your jewelry or some shit? I don't know, but it'd be like, I be on shit and I'm not. Where I'm from, we like sneaky criminals. Like, <laughs> yeah. in LA, it's like they bold. It's like, they want you to know, they want you to, they want to spark a conversation with you first before they get into some shit. Some of them, some of them might just. Go crazy Like I know some niggas Like that too They might not even They might be on their sneaky shit too But the majority of the times I got into some shit It was like They just gave they drop up Too fast You feel me So the second time I got into some shit It was like Niggas was just talking Loud as shit Wanting me to hear Their conversation And it's like I'm with my peoples Like I'm with my, my, my Daughter and my girl Like why they talking About this gangster shit Like with, with this around Like we outside We on Fairfax I'm like man You know I already peed the blitz We this out This gangsta's out there On Fairfax Like, like that's what I'm that? saying Like what the fuck Is going on Like I'm on Fairfax right now <laughs> So I'm like, man, we out of here. You feel me? Like, we gone. My girl, like, no, nah, we ain't. I'm like, I'm just going off of the vibes. Like, we out. Is, is she peeping the energy? Because I'm not sure you on point. Yeah, she ain't peeping. She was thinking That's I'm tripping. about women sometimes. She be thinking man. I'm tripping. So, you know, mix all this. I'm like, no, nah, we out. So she peeped it. I'm serious. She's like, no, nah, we out. We drive probably like two blocks down the street. She thinking this shit a game. She pull over somewhere else. Like, oh, I wanted to go to this door right here. And then in a mix of me. Like telling her like where the park at? It's like somebody just came fast as shit and took the parking spot like the same spot that we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, they must have been following me or something, bro. How the fuck this car get behind me this <laughs> yeah. fast? Like I ain't even look. I look back and that shit was there quick as shit. And then when I walked past, like the car bombed out. Like this shit tended to the max. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm getting all this heat coming from the car though. Like I'm feeling the energy coming from the car. I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Who that car? Like, you know, some other shit. I ain't going to the store for two seconds. The same people coming from out the car, hopping the store, hyping shit. See some gang banging shit, like some set of my, I don't know what they say. This is some shit out loud. Set tripping. But it was like, son, that, I'm not, that I recognize the energy. You feel me? I'm like, what? You feel me? Like, he like started talking to me with some gangs and shit. Like, I'm like, bro, do you know me? Like, you know me from somewhere? He like, nigga, yeah, I know who you is. Da, da, da. Trying to get me to. Like, get into some shit. So I'm like, man, I flagged him off and I just walked out the store because I already know, like, where this shit about to go. You feel me? You don't that make you nervous if, like, you with, like, your, your girl. Your no, boy. that's why I be trying to be cool because you don't want to be nervous and make it seem like something about that. You, wanna, you, you want them to be as calm too, as possible. Though. You feel me? You want your girl and your kids to be, like, making it seem like everything is cool. Ain't nothing about to happen to us. You feel me? Like, we super good. So I just be cool. I just kept it cordial. I'm like, come on, maybe out. Niggas on some real shit. Yeah. You feel me? They got to the car, and when they get to the car, that's when I let niggas know, like, I'm not on that. You feel me? And I ain't gonna say what happened, but niggas know that I'm just not on that. You yeah. Feel me? It's like, <laughs> all right. So after hearing about the encounter PNB had before his death, and then hearing what the game said in this unreleased track, what else do you think can be done to prevent something like this from happening again? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section and keep it locked to Hip Hop DX.